I'm Simon Perriman, I'm at Microsoft Headquarters, and I'm here to show you how you can change your Windows desktop backgrounds. Now the desktop background is essentially a fixed or a rotating image that we place just at the back of your computer. By default, Windows comes with several backgrounds, they rotate, but you can customize your background or you can remove it entirely. Let's take a look at how we do this. Here you can see I currently have a background showing a nice landscape, but if I want to go and adjust it, we do this through two ways. We can either right click on the background itself and select personalize, or we can search for personalization. This interface not only lets you change the background, but it also lets you configure different types of themes, such as changing the icons on your desktop, changing the different types of mouse pointers as well. But in this case, we are going to take a look at our desktop background, which we can find down here at the bottom. Once I select this, we actually get asked, what is the picture location that we want to use? And so you can see we have the option of using default Windows backgrounds, we can take photos from our own library, we can take online photos, or we can kind of remove our background entirely and just replace it with a solid color. In this case, we're going to go and select uh, a set of images from our own library. So I'm going to select my picture library, and it sees that I'm able to choose which of these various images I have saved on my computer that I want to add. Down here on the bottom, you can see options for how we want to go and display these pictures. Picture position shows us exactly how we want to organize each of those individual images. We can either fill the screen up entirely, keep it with the same resolution, stretch it, or make lots of smaller pictures added on there, which we call our tiles. We then have the ability to change the frequency of how often we want to rotate these images. We can do it very frequently or not very often at all. Now, if we want to go and remove our background entirely, we can go and select solid colors. We can select our black background, and after we've made any of these changes, we just simply go to the bottom of our screen, click Save Changes, and once we close this, our background will be updated to whatever picture or whatever default settings you wish.